There is no way around this. We've had a death in our family. With those unflinching words, host LL Cool J kicked off the 54th annual Grammy Awards, addressing the elephant in the room. The sudden death of superstar Whitney Houston just 24 hours before the start of February's live telecast. Singer Whitney Houston, one of the greatest voices of our generation, seeing it has gotten confirmation from a representative, has died. I was actually in my house going over the material that was already locked in, you know, locked down for the, for the show. And, um, you know, my wife walked in and told me what had happened. Grammy executive producer Ken Ehrlich tells Showbiz Tonight he was on the floor at Staples Center when he heard the shocking news. It was about it was mid-afternoon um, and we were rehearsing Adele and uh, kind of in the middle of that all of a sudden, you know, someone came on the headset, uh, you know, I, was, I have a PL to the truck and someone mentioned something there, Lou said something. And, and, the next thing I knew, it had been confirmed by a couple of other people. They were calling me, I was calling them, it was phone tag, it was chaos. How would they acknowledge the passing of the six-time Grammy winner? Ehrlich had a brainstorm. I was standing kind of where Jennifer Hudson had come up from under the stage three years before when, uh, you know, she came and did You Brought Me Through, which was this song that was her comeback after everything that had happened to her with her family. I called Damien Smith, her manager, first, and then um, he was on his way to, to the pre-Grammy party at, uh, over at the Beverly Hilton, which was where it all happened. So uh, when he got there, she called, and we talked a little bit about it. And, you know, she said, anything you want, anything. Director Louis J. Horvitz tells Showbiz Tonight he didn't see Hudson until one hour before the start of the show when she ran through I Will Always Love You, Houston's signature song for the first time on stage. Came in Sunday for the dress rehearsal. In this instance, we had to stop one or two times uh, to give her a chance to collect herself. She was the right person, and that was the right song. As well received as that tribute was, nearly 40 million viewers around the globe had fears about how Whitney Houston may have died. Later, the coroner confirmed that cocaine as well as marijuana were in her system when she accidentally drowned in her bathtub at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. We did work with her several times during what, uh, sadly, we have to call a decline. There was a show where, you know, it just became really obvious that, what the problem was. We were really hopeful that someone was going to step in. I almost went to New Jersey. Someone someone asked us, but I remember going to the house and and uh, seeing firsthand that it was there were there were problems and that you know hoping that you know that things would get better. The 54th annual Grammy Awards was the second highest rated Grammy telecast of all time. On Monday night in North Hollywood, California, the Grammy team shared its behind the scenes story in the hopes of earning an Emmy nomination. We were just trying to figure out how we can show her the respect that she deserves. As for Houston herself, what would she think of the Emmy campaign? I think she would have much rather been there.